My three-year-old niece absolutely loved them. And my mum, she couldn't stop raving about them when I made this lovely grilled cheese chili nachos thing. And it was absolutely amazing. She couldn't get enough of them. And I'm not surprised because they're gorgeous, they're crispy, they're crunchy. And when you combine them with different flavors, you can kind of make a meal in itself. And when I go to the cinema, I always like to order a plate of nachos, a bit like that. Thank you. And look at this. It's a mound pile high of nachos, all covered in iceberg lettuce, there's some jalapenos, I'm going to have a go. Oh my word, it's really hot. Woo! Gosh. <laughs> That's really hot. And the interesting thing here is, it's got coriander leaves. Now, I've never seen coriander leaves on my mountain of nachos in the cinema, which I never want to share, really. But this is an interesting way of serving it. But I like the sour cream on top and the guacamole. Mmm, lovely avocados and lemon juice in there and more chili. Woo! And they've got actually mung beans or mung dal, sprouted mung beans. That's really interesting. I've never seen that anywhere, not even in the UK. I like the flavors of the mung beans in this. It really adds that Indian touch to it, which I've never seen anywhere before. And I have to take my hat off to these guys because they've come up with a really ingenious idea of serving nachos. And I've never seen this anywhere in the world. Generally in the cinema, they normally have a large portion of nachos that serves at least two to three people. But that's not for me. I normally like to eat them by myself. And this is so colorful, it could actually sit next to a bhelpuri in Juhu Chapati Beach. It's so good. Like a Mexican bhelpuri. Absolutely, definitely, without a doubt. I'm gonna have some guacamole. I love guacamole. And it's amazing how this is such a simple dish to replicate. Anybody can do it. And it's not rocket science. You could actually be really creative when it comes to making your own nachos dips and mounds. And you can pile it high with lettuce leaves. You can use cheese, any kind of cheese, a hard cheese. You can actually grate a bit of paneer on top if you wanted to. If you don't want sour cream, Try mayonnaise, that would be a lovely touch to it. Although nachos come from Mexico, it's a global dish and it's spread across the world and that's a great thing. And so has chili con carne and the Brits love chili con carne. So I'm going to show you how to make two simple dishes, chili con carne and nachos. So I'm going to get back into the kitchen. Oh, I can't eat anymore. I've had enough. <laughs> 